Hey folks, we continue to have a tornado warning for Northwest Willacy County right here. It does not include Raymond, Villeport, Mansfield, Lyford, or Sebastian, but boy, that just little ranch land right up there in the northwest corner of the county. Look at the size of this thunderstorm. It takes up pretty much all of Kennedy County, now reaching back into northern Hidalgo County. Take all the radar off for a second. This is the tornado warning, and again, just barely clips Willacy County, but boy, for anybody driving up or down 77, it is a rough drive. We encourage people just don't do that. Again, look at the size of this thunderstorm. Stretches from just north of Raymondville all the way up almost to Cerrita and stretches back into Hidalgo County now as well. In terms of the number of lightning strikes, 3,500 just in the last few minutes. That is big. And we look at the velocities on this. This tells us how strong the winds are. Had a much better signature, a stronger signature for rotation a little while ago. We're still picking up winds of 65, 44 miles per hour within this. All southbound winds on the other side. The winds are northbound. So right along Highway 77 is where they meet and that's where that potential tornado is. And that's why that warning's in effect until 530 as all this continues to push toward the south and making its way toward Raymondville. Regardless of whether this stays tornado or not, or just as a strong to severe thunderstorm, the winds within this 60 to 70 miles per hour, that's a damaging wind. So Raymondville, even though you're not under a warning, let's find some place inside to be safe as this storm comes southward. And if it holds together long enough, Harlingen, you could be looking at uh, strong winds as well within the next hour and a half or so. The storm also kind of working its way back to the west and building southward. So it's possible we could see other warnings issued back into Hidalgo County as well. This is just a piece of a large system that continues pushing southward. It came south during the nighttime hours through central Texas and is now working its way right down toward the south Texas coast. For us, what it means is the possibility of a shower thunderstorm this evening. Severe weather is certainly a possibility, especially in the eastern half of the valley. Then tomorrow, isolated storms are possible again, about a 30% probability for tomorrow. The next seven days, we keep temperatures in the 90s. Rain chance ends after tomorrow, but then sneaks back in just in time for the weekend. We'll keep an eye on that tornado warning just in the northern corner of Willacy County and let you know if that extends to any other parts of the valley as the situation continues to develop.